Okay, welcome to uh, the Electronics Lab A601 and today I'm going to introduce to you a chip that is going to save you a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Uh, it is a SR Latch chip, the CD4043. Uh, usually if you want to build a SR Latch, you would use uh, a NOR gate chip. Now, it's doable. Uh, but the wiring can get quite complicated, yeah? So there is a simpler and quicker function. It is a CD4043. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what that's about and I'm going to show how you wire it up. And uh, hopefully you can use this in your coursework and save you a lot of time. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, welcome to uh, this brief video about uh, the SR Latch chip CD4043. So usually uh, you would use uh, SR Latch to uh, retain certain memory functions or if you want to debound certain switches and the textbook teaches you uh, how to build your own SR Latch using two NOR gates, right? Uh, but if you have gone through the practical, you'll find that it's actually quite troublesome to build your own SR latch. Now, the good thing is that there is already a chip that is made that has a SR latch function, a flip-flop function. And this chip is the 404C. It is a CMOS. Now, that's going to be uh, relevant next time when I tell you why I specifically mentioned CMOS Quad 3 state SR latch You'll be wondering, huh? You mean there's 3 states? I thought it's only a high, low Well, this one has a 3 state function, okay? So let me give you a little bit uh, of refresher on the truth table for an SR latch uh, If both inputs are 0, it remains at the previous output if the reset is at 1, the output is 0 and if the set is at 1, the output will be 1. If both are high, that's not a very good state to have because you'll have an uncertain output. Okay, so these are the pinouts. You can actually get this diagram from uh, Google. Uh, just search 4043 datasheet and you'll be able to get this picture. Okay, so there are 4 input as well, there are four SR latches in this one chip. All right, so uh, S1 R1 corresponds to Q1, S2 R2 corresponds to Q2, S3 R3 corresponds to Q3, S4 R4 corresponds to Q4. All right, your VDD is your supply, uh, and this chip can take between five to fifteen volts. Usually, we'll stick with five volts uh, for our course and VSS is your ground, okay? So put this to your uh, ground signal. Now EN is enabled. Now we want to put this to VCC. Just put it to five volts, uh, pin it to VCC. And what happens is that this guy will then work as your flip-flop SR latch, okay? If you put it to zero volts, uh, you are actually disabling the SR function, which is not what we want, okay? So just a couple of things to take note. Um, the minimum high voltage it recognizes is 3.5 volts. And I'm talking about a 5 volt input. Huh? A minimum voltage that it recognizes as a high is 3.5. And the maximum that it recognizes as a low is 1.5 volts. The output that it gives is a very nice output, right? The minimum high output it gives is 4.95 so it gives a very close 5 volts assuming that of course the VDD you are using is 5 volts and uh, maximum low is almost close to zero it's a very nice output over here okay so this is the introduction about uh, the 4043 and I want to bring your attention back to the CMOS what this means is that it's different from your TTL that you are used to. And uh, just a couple of things to take note of. One, try th this one is very sensitive to static discharges. So when you touch it with your bare hands, and if you do have static charges on your fingers, it will discharge and it may spoil the chip. 
yeah another thing to take note of is that if you are using this uh, in series with a TTL chip, you have to take note of the V in V out max uh, for both the input and output. Okay, so more on that later. So now let's see how this works. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, use S1, R1, and Q1. So don't forget your power supply, don't forget your ground. And what I've done is that I've placed the enable to a high, 5 volts. Uh, the yellow is your set, your blue is your reset, and your green is your output. Okay, so let's turn this on. Okay, so it seems like the first state we get is a high so what we want to do is we want to reset it so remember blue is my reset so i'll reset it to low and i'll bring it back down to zero zero so zero zero it remains at low i'm going to put it to set one set one output is one okay now i'm going to bring it down to zero zero and it will remain at the previous state and it remains at high so what I can do is I can bring it down to a reset one, blue, reset one, and it goes low. And I bring it down to zero, zero, it'll remain at low. Okay, so this is a brief introduction of how a 4043 chip works. Uh, you do have the option of four. Uh, SR latches here so it's it's going to save you a lot of space if you are using this as uh, part of your coursework okay and um, yeah just take note of the the notes that I gave you about using CMOS um, components um, and you should be fine okay